shows you how actually nerve-wracking making a YouTube video is. Hi, welcome to my first YouTube video. My name is Vanessa Darko, and this fall I'm going to be a film and television major at New York University's Tisch School of the Arts. And in honor of college application season, I figured I'd tell you guys a little bit about how I got into NYU. Quick disclaimer, there is no one sure set way of getting into any institution. So take this video with a grain of salt. Don't let my experience be your own. Be confident in who you are and what you have to bring to the table. But without further ado, let's get started. Let's just jump right into it with my stats. I applied to NYU early decision round two and I finished high school with about a 3.72 on a 4.0 GPA scale. So not bad, not good. My class rank was somewhere in between 160s and 170s out of 840 students, I believe, in my graduating class. And then throughout all four years of high school, I took a total of seven AP classes. AP Human Geography, AP US History, AP Chemistry, AP Physics, AP Statistics, AP English Language and Composition, and AP Literature. But I only took two AP tests total. So that's it for like the basic like statistics. Not super great. I think I'm like on the higher end of the average scale, but not like valedictorian, top 10%, you know, stuff like that. In Common App, you are only allowed to place 10 of your extracurriculars, you rank them in order of importance to you, and in that, or you're only allotted 10 words to explain your role or position in the organization. I was thought I was going to be able to just reopen Common App and all that stuff would be here, but because it's a new admission cycle, they said, nope, all your stuff is gone. So my extracurriculars might be a little wonky and out of order because I am just going straight off the memory, but this is what I put for sure. I was my theater department secretary as well as drama club secretary. I was an honor thespian. I was my choir department's social committee chief. I was young women's leadership club secretary and national honor society historian for my school's chapter. I was a newspaper staffer. I was also a stand leader, which is my school's way of saying the leaders of the student section at football games. Being that I'm from Texas, football games are a big thing. Therefore, being a stand leader was a big thing for me. I was also on my student council's um, I was also on my student council's not board officer. I was also a student council officer, being that I was a publicity committee co-chief, and then I was eventually moved up to being a chairperson. And then finally, I was on the teen admin team for the Max Performing Arts Collective, which is a Black-owned organization in Houston, Texas, whose mission is to bring the arts to low-income areas and families. That's, I believe that's everything. I do have a few tips and general notes that I think you should definitely take advantage of. Number one, I think it's super important to add extracurriculars that aren't only at your high school. Like if you've done things outside of your high school, I 1000% recommend you add on there. For example, the Max Performing Arts Collective was not something that was offered at my high school. I'm also almost 100% sure I added some summer courses that I did. Don't limit yourself to a bunch of clubs and after school activities definitely go above and beyond and talk about things you've done outside of school. Which leads me to my second general note for you. Don't go overboard with the honor societies. Truly honor societies, I feel like, don't hold as much weight as other organizations or more career-driven organizations. Some application sites like the UC portal specifically have an extra portion for you to articulate the awards and honors that you've received throughout high school. That's kind of where you want to talk about your honor society accolades. If you are going to add honor societies, specify the ones that have weight or are probably a little more career driven. That being said, overall, just be really intentional with the extracurriculars that you add because if you only got to pick 10, you probably want them to be 10 of your best. So now for the fun part, I want to go over the things that I personally believe helped my application. Let it be shown there is no merit or measure to prove that these things actually helped. But if I were an admissions counselor, I would think that these would help. I'm just gonna hit the ground running. I did two NYU high school programs. The first one being NYU's Future Filmmakers program and the second one being NYU Summer Filmmakers Workshop. They sound virtually the exact same. The Future F Filmmakers Workshop is a free taste of N NYU education. For the spring semester of my junior year, 14 weeks, Every Saturday we'd meet and learn about different film techniques and we'd make 
for films that by the end of the semester, once you fine-tuned and worked with the professors, there would be a film festival and the best of your films would be chosen. Whereas the Summer Filmmakers Workshop was a six-week course. You do it every day instead of only on Saturdays and you get college credit for it. That being said, it does cost a little bit of a pretty penny. In my opinion, those two things definitely looked better to have in my pocket. And it's obviously not just about the experience, it's just about the fact that I've shown an interest in NYU for quite some time now. The second thing that I think helped my application were my letters of recommendation. I feel like they were fairly strong. I had my math teacher who I was really good friends with and my family friend, my aunt, write the second one. So I know her, she's incredibly well-spoken. Um, and I just know that both of them represented me in a way that was honest, but also admirable. And then finally, I think the thing that helped my application was the fact that I am going to be a freshman in college at 16 years old. I skipped two grades when I was younger and I only mentioned it once in my Tisch essay because I did not want to be that person. Um, maybe that didn't play a role, maybe it did. I don't know, but. Y'all, the camera literally died. So yeah, so that's it pretty much for the cut and dry, like common app things, things that I definitely mentioned in the basis, the foundation of my application. Now I'm gonna tell you guys about the portfolio. Tisch students, specifically prospective film and television majors, do have to submit a portfolio in addition to their regular application. Before I even begin talking about what's on, the portfolio. One thing that you must do is submit your Common App as early as possible. My deadline was January 1st and I didn't submit my Common App application until December 29th and I was fully unaware that you couldn't simultaneously work on the portfolio. Like you can get so far but you have a Common App ID number with your application that you can only find in the overview once you've submitted it. And so you cannot access and open the portfolio until after your Common App is submitted. So please don't wait until two days before the deadline because two major components of this portfolio do heavily rely on the portfolio being open. Okay, you have to submit five things for the portfolio. So artistic submission, which is gonna be any video or short film that you've made up to five minutes long. It's not gonna be a reel, so don't think like you can take the best snippets of your films. They explicitly outline that you don't do so. Next, we have the essay. You get to choose between two prompts and it's up to two pages long. Next, you do have to write a story. You can write the story based on five prompts that you are given. Three visual prompts and two auditory prompts. And that's something that's only released to you once you get through to the portfolio. And you have to write a beginning, middle, and end story based on one of those five components. Indicate which one you choose and then you write um, a story up to three pages long. Next, you have your resume. If you've never made a resume before or if you've made one for a job, this one is still a little bit different. It's only one page long and they do give you an example of the resume that they wanna see from you on the actual Tisch website. This is what my resume looked like um, because I knew it was a creative resume and I took that to heart. Um, beyond the fact that it was only supposed to really be my creative experience, I wanted it to look creative as well. One tip when it comes to the resume, don't put a picture of you on that resume. They're supposed to strip themselves of your physical identity um, so that there are no preconceived notions about what kind of students you are or could be. For that reason, just don't put a picture even if you go on Google and all of those have a picture on it, just don't. And finally, they have the Your Selfie component. So pretty much the Your Selfie is a 90 second video um, introducing the admissions officer to you. You say so much about yourself in the application. This is a chance to truly be authentic and talk about extra things that you probably didn't have space for or weren't asked to outline. A lot of people would argue that the Your Selfie is an opportunity specifically for filmmakers to show a little bit extra of what they can do. Um, but please, do not hear that and think you have to create this awe-inspiring cinematic experience. There are many people who have gotten into NYU with your selfies that were just like this, having a little conversation with the camera. I think the thing that's most important is just ensuring that it's authentic to you. If you've made it this far, thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. I wish you the best on college applications because it is no secret that they are impossible. I've shed gallons of tears on <laughs> over them. I hope that you've learned something from this video or you've walked away with a newfound confidence. And even if you haven't, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you would like to, you could like this video and subscribe um, for more college, NYU, film school, NYC girly videos. <laughs>